What's the best way to welcome the new year than to get a new outfit? Welcome to my Chinese New Year preparations part 2 where I am going to show you everything that I plan to wear and do. Just gave JC garden a makeover and now the whole vibe is an island living vibe and I love it! I could just sleep here in the afternoons but then no, I don't take naps ever. Wine bucket so that we don't have to keep bringing the wine to the garden. So this is perfect for champagne evenings. Ah, so peaceful. Chinese New Year and we cannot be without our Cheong Sam and of course a new dress or 15 new dresses for every day of the Lunar New Year. Let's see what I have got this year to wear on the first day of Chinese New Year. It is important for us Chinese to wear something new like new bras, new underwear and new dress, new shoes, everything new, new handbag. Where am I gonna get a new handbag? I can't even go to Paris. You guys must be excited to see what I have chosen for the first day of Chinese New Year. So I've only gotten one new dress so far because actually I bought like about five. The thing is, I kept wearing new ones before Chinese New Year, so I'm just like stuck with one now. I think I need to go shopping, uh -uh, more online shopping. So this is for my Chinese New Year. This is supposed to be a bow. I would call this color kind of like a fuchsia color or in Hermes term, mm, magnolia or maybe rose purple. And I have the perfect Kelly to match this. I have, I have a rose purple Kelly that will be like this super total match with the dress. I love the puffy sleeves and it's cute. It's fresh. It's young, most importantly. Don't want to look old in front of relatives and friends, especially on Chinese New Year where people who have not seen you for like the last one year and suddenly you meet them and um, yes, they often tell me, oh my God, Jamie, you look younger again. But of course, I'm anti-aging every day with all my beauty routines, my beauty ritual. So yeah, guys, being conscientious in your self-care is super important. Now, uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, my qi pao. And if you don't know what is a qi pao, it is a traditional Chinese um, dress. Chinese dress? Is it called a Chinese dress or like a, a Chinese costume? Let me Google. What do I call it? I mean, it's not really a costume. Qi pao. So what is a qi pao? Qi pao is a traditional Chinese dress worn by women from the Manchurian dynasty. So it usually has a high neck like this and with this Chinese button, which I love, I always choose the very elaborate one. So um, I don't have a new qi pao this year because of COVID. I cannot travel to Shanghai where I usually make all my qi paos because the work there is really unrivaled. Super Shanghainese craftsmanship. I just want to show you guys what I had from the previous years. Look at this beauty. 
They are all hand embroidered. Every flower is hand embroidered, leaves, everything, complete with like gold threads, has a sheer back. And these are cherry blossom, which is very significant of a new year because it's like spring. Cherry blossom is always like spring and um, something spring is fresh, new beginnings, new year. And um, yeah, I really love this chipa. I'm going to rewear it this Chinese New Year. And after all, we only wear them once a year. I got this one made maybe like two years ago. It is like exquisite, completely embroidered with 24 karat gold thread. It's beautiful. I love chipa's that have all these 3D flowers just popping out. They just look so alive. And again, cherry blossom because they are my favorite Chinese, I mean, flowers. I just abhor chrysanthemums. So even though chrysanthemums could be like a, also a Chinese New Year flower, but I would never put a pot of chrysanthemums in my house simply because chrysanthemums always remind me of funerals. And I mean, yeah, of course, you don't put white chrysanthemums for Chinese New Year. They're usually like yellow, they're like red and all that. But oh no, I just don't like chrysanthemums. You will see how obsessed I am with this cherry blossom or as the Chinese call it, tao hua, because I've got lots of tao hua in my house today. They just arrived. They are absolutely gorgeous, breathtaking, and I just love looking at them. Just makes me really happy. I feel fresh. I feel like, you know, just really positive when I look at Tao Hua. And another one that has Tao Hua. Oh my God. Okay. This one has got a bird. I love birds. If you see on my pussy willow, I have got like these kind of birds just perching on the branches. So these are things that I really love for Chinese New Year. And uh, yeah, this has a simpler uh, button. This is what they call it. Uh, yeah, it's like hua niu. Hua niu is like a floral button. Yes. One of my all time favorite. Yeah. Roses. I love roses. You can see that. My choice in the print of my tea pao reflects in my choices of flowers in my home, my garden. I've got like tons of roses. I think I spent like $3,000 on roses already. Um, yes, but look at this amazing work that you can only get like in China in a, on a specific street where they make the most amazing tea pao. I, well, I hope I can go back soon. And I'm going to make a few more of these beauties. I mean, look at that. You can buy these off the shelf, ready to make. They are like made to measure, fitted to death. So a chipao is supposed to fit, but not, it is a body hugging kind of dress, but I wouldn't call it like a bodycon kind of dress. It is supposed to be fitted, but not tight because it's not supposed to be so tight that it shows like all these um, creases like you can see on my scarf today so it's supposed to be uh, tight at the right places and just slightly a little bit loose at the right places too oh 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 there more cherry blossoms this one looks pretty tiny i don't know if i could even fit into them anymore diet before Chinese New Year. I really would like to put this on. Yeah, just look at the buttons. I love them. Just choosing the material, the kind of flowers, the kind of colors, and the kind of buttons, just like, oh my God, I love doing that. Lace ones. These are like um, brocade lace. It's beautiful. It's kind of like see-through, so it gives like a little bit of um, won't call it very sexy, but uh, just a modern touch to a traditional chipa. Yeah, pink is obviously my favorite color. This is from many years ago, actually, and I could still fit into this one. I know, and I love it because it has like that blush shade of pink that I'm obsessed with, and of course, gold threads. 
So this is the end of the Qi Pao tour. Let's go downstairs and I am going to show you more things about this occasion called CNY. Let's go. So during Chinese New Year, people who are already married have to give money to people who are not married. Oh my God, why? People who are married need to save more money. Why are we giving money to those who are not married? But anyway, it is a tradition that have gone on for many years. And of course, as kids, we really love to collect this thing called Hong Bao because there's going to be money inside. Okay, so when I was a kid, I liked to go visiting to all my aunties, uncles, grandpa, grandma, and all that because I'm going to be earning money during Chinese New Year. But of course, when I got married, I started to feel that, you know, hey, this is not so fun after all, because then I was the one who was giving out these money packets. Of course, when we were young, people were giving like uh, it, money in denominations of like $2, $10, $50. Of course, we like the $50 Hong Pao the most, and of course, if you're lucky, you may get a $1,000 one. But I don't think I'm going to be receiving any. Aww. Right, so these are money packets. I especially love this one, it's very beautiful. And of course, every year, uh, the brands will send me like different, different kind of Hong Pao. I'm not going to show them all, I'm just going to show like one of these. This, like my favorite from last year because as of now I haven't received any Hong Pao yet because it's still January I think they're all going to come in February so let's just look at last year's one this is empty and um, usually on the night before the first day of Chinese New Year I would be breaking my bank oh no Beautiful. always the best Hong Pao from Cartier Right here, I have all these pretty lacquered boxes and they are for putting all the sweets, eight treasure sweets during Chinese New Year and even like a confectionery like a pineapple tarts, almond cookies, etc. for Chinese New Year. Right here, I like to put melon seeds um, during chinese new year we have various color of guazi which is melon seeds they come in like a black color red color and the white color ones for your guests to snack on them although i think that this year we're not going to have many guests because the, um, the government has said that we cannot uh, visit more than two households a day and not more than eight people per time and we are encouraged not to visit our friends but just our family so um, I'm still going to go with the whole tradition thing I mean come on there are 15 days to Chinese New Year even if I accept two sets of guests a day I don't think I have that many friends you know so I just have to do it separately the boxes are still empty now because it is a bit early. Like I said, this is um, January, towards the end of January. I'm going to start my um, sweets, cookies, uh, pastry shopping in February. Because Chinese New Year is going to be on the 12th of February. I think I have quite a lot of time to get this sorted out. But just want to show you guys a little bit of background of um, these boxes. Look at that. This is going to be like my 8 treasure box. 8 treasure box are like you put things like uh, the sweetened preserved uh, candies etc. Like this. Eight treasure box. What else about Chinese New Year? Um, so it is a time where families gather over meals. Unfortunately, we can't have something called the open house this year where people just open their houses to all their relatives and friends and you can just pop by, visit, take your hongbao anytime you want. So I think this year I'll be saving a lot of money because of the 
the COVID rule. Okay, thank you very much. I saved some money. Yep, and families gather. They like to do something called like the hot pot, which I'm going to show you guys in a bit. And okay, let's move on. I want to show you guys my Tao Hua over my Qi Pao, right? So it is this particular flower. The Chinese call it Tao Hua. I think they are like peach blossoms. The Japanese call them cherry blossoms. But I think the Chinese, they call them peach blossom Tao Hua. And this is a Tao Hua tree, a mini one. I got a bigger one coming later because after I bought the mini one, the nursery that I always go to, they send me like this big one. Then I was like, oh my God, I'll take it. Just send it tonight. So later, I will show you guys my larger Tao Hua tree. So I have two this year. Two is better than one. So uh, just a close up of how these beautiful pink flowers look. They are very delicate, so not too much water or else they will drown. By Chinese New Year, this whole plant is going to be filled with pink flowers. And then I'm going to make some gorgeous, beautiful pictures with my Tao Hua, Xi Pao and my beautiful trees. <laughs> oh yeah, finally the peach blossom tree has arrived. It's big. You guys can see that there are not that many blooms yet. And that is because we want to wait till Chinese New Year to get a full bloom, which is why it only makes sense to pick something that has got many, many buds like that. So guys, this is what you would see on a typical Chinese New Year, Asian New Year's Eve dinner. Um, this is called a hot pot and I have got collagen soup base inside because that's really popular and everybody loves a collagen soup base. And of course, you can have whatever you want, even like Wagyu beef, which is what we have here, um, vegetables, we've got Kaido scallops, we've got carabinero prawns, barramundi fish. Basically, it's whatever that you love. You can even put sausages inside if you like, uh, very Korean style. And it is a very uh, delicious, healthy and simple way to have a Chinese New Year dinner and with no complicated cooking involved. So let's Dig in. So guys, we come to the end of my CNY vlog. I hope you have learned a thing or two if you are not Asian and don't know much about this occasion. And for everyone who is celebrating Chinese New Year, I am going to be wishing you in Mandarin right now. 祝大家新年快乐,身体健康,心想事成! 财源广进,富贵花开 See you all next week! Dress, Chinese dress? Is it called a Chinese dress or like a... a, a... Oh yeah, finally the peach blossom tree has a...